Good morning, Enid. It is Thursday, October 1. Kristen, we made it to October. I can't we believe did. it. It kind went fast. It's kind of a rainy 57 degrees out there today, uh, right now, currently. High today is going to be 71, so fall weather has arrived. I'm Steve Kime. And I'm Kristen Martin. Kristen, welcome. Thank you. And uh, it's good to have you. It's and, great to be here. And uh, we appreciate you joining us today. We've got a great show. We've got some news. We've got some overnight weather. We're going to be talking kites to go fly a kite. So it's a great show. It's going to be a quick 30 minutes. It will. Thank you for joining us and rise and shine. Once again, good morning, Nina. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday. I can't believe it's already October. It was just Valentine's Day just the other day, and here it is, October. It's 7.31 on kind of a rainy morning, but uh, that, yeah, that's expected with fall weather. Thanks. Kristen, welcome to the set of Good Morning, Nina. Thank you. Thank Ner you. Are you nervous? Just a little bit. Just a little bit? So the shaking, that's not normal? No, no, <laughs> no. that's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> to me, when I start shaking, it's the... Uh, Coffee. I've had plenty of that this morning, yeah, that's for well, sure. That's good. Well, we hope you grab a cup of coffee because we have a great show for you today. We're going to be talking kites, and then we're going to be talking kites. As you can tell, there's been a lot of kites, a lot of activity, a lot of visitors to Enid this week because of the AKA. They're having their convention, and we're glad that they're back. So uh, we want to say special thanks to Enid Floral and Gifts. They've provided uh, help in our studio design and also to Merrifield Furniture. We want to say special thanks to them. Uh, there they are. Thank you, Penn, for uh, their support of Good Morning Enid and providing some furniture and just, just for our studio set to be comfortable, and we want to say thanks to them. Well, again, it's 57 degrees, slight rain out there for a few drops, and if we can get the radar up, you will notice that most of the rain, Kristen, went to the east of us. It started way in the west, in western Oklahoma during the night, and then it moved its way across Oklahoma. Now it's basically I-35 and east moving to the east-southeast, but uh, we do have a 40% chance of rain today. All day. So, and I love the fall. Is that your backyard? I wish it was. I would Boy, love that. That is a gorgeous backyard with all the fall colors. Fall is my favorite time of the year. It is mine as well. I just like the cool weather, football, and all that. Bonfires, s'mores, hot, hot, hot cocoa. Hmm, okay. I hadn't thought of bonfires. Yeah. Man. Okay. Well, let's see what else we need to talk about. Uh, we've got uh, three-day forecasts, I think. we got a lot of football. Uh, Oklahoma's playing uh, West Virginia this weekend, and uh, Derek will tell us more about some of the collegiate games, but the three-day forecast uh, to help everybody plan for the weekend looks like what? It's going to be beautiful, it looks like. It's going to be mid-low 70s. It's just going to be, we need to get outside and Ooh, enjoy it. There's a 68 degree day on Saturday. Now that's, that's fall. It's going to be a great day. We have a few street closings that we want to talk to you about. Uh, I believe one of them that, was, that we issued as a press release yesterday was about uh, France Street. Is it France? Is that how they pronounce it? France? France? But anyway. As you can see, it's between South Grand and 2nd Street. It's going to be closed about three to four weeks. Sewer line that uh, kind of failed on us, but it was an old, old line, so they're going to have to get that replaced. They can't put a Band-Aid on this. This has to really be fixed, so we'll take care of that. So that's coming up. Well, let's find out what happened uh, overnight in the news. And with that, we're going, what, Derek and the okay. Oklahoma Minute?
Good morning, ain't it? Governor Fallon issues a last-minute stay of Richard Glossop's execution for 37 days because of an unauthorized drug for execution. The Oklahoma Republican Party offers a home for the Ten Commandment Monument that is to be removed from the state capitol. It will be replaced at the Republicans' headquarters. Chesapeake lays off 740 employees with 562 of them in Oklahoma City. Thunderstar Kevin Durant will unveil a new basketball court at North Highland Elementary on Monday, October the 5th. And the Tulsa State Fair begins today and goes through October the 11th. Saturday, Oklahoma State will play Kansas State in Stillwater at 3 p.m. and OU will play West Virginia in Norman at 11 a.m. This will be the annual strike the stadium game where fans in odd numbered sections wear white and fans in even numbered sections wear crimson. And that's the Oklahoma Minute. Back to you, Steve and Kristen. And I appreciate Derek doing that. Uh, I'm wearing my OU belt today in support of the Sooners. And my daughter goes to the OU games quite often. And um, I think it's fun to see the stadium with its stripe, the red, white. A lot, of, a lot of universities are doing that. And so that's, that's fun. So I appreciate Derek mentioning that. Uh, speaking of football, Friday Night Lights is coming up. Friday Night Football. Uh, uh, for tonight, um, yeah. Aina plays Lawton tonight. So that's a Thursday night game. So they got to travel all the way down to southwestern Oklahoma to lot and play. But here are the rest of the Friday night lights, Kristen. OBA is going to be playing Oklahoma Christian Academy. Chisholm will be playing Watonga. Wacomas versus Ringle Ringle Ringwood. Sorry. Easy for you to say. <laughs> Pioneer versus Siling. Timberlake versus Prue. Kremlin Highsdale versus Turpin. Garber versus Deer Creek. And Covington versus Douglas, or Covington, Covington Douglas, Douglas yeah. versus Blue Jacket. That's very good. Now, Kristen, <laughs> you are from Gainesville, Texas. I am. I am new to Enid, Oklahoma. So those schools are new to you. They are very the new to me. The pronouncing of those are new to you. Well, you did a great job. And by the way, this is Kristen's first time to join us on the set of Good Morning Enid. And uh, our regular group, if you will, ladies and gentlemen, uh, are out for surgeries, a illness, and a conference. And so. Kristen just raised her hand and said, I'll volunteer to help her out. So you did a great job, and especially when you see those Oklahoma schools and you don't know how they're pronounced. You did a great job. So we welcome you to the set. But anyway, Thank high you. school football, get out and support everybody. It's 737, holding steady with 57 degrees, kind of rainy out there. And they did say, Kristen, 40% chance of rain throughout the day today with a high of 71. So fall weather, it could be kite flying weather. Um, I noticed, I was out watching the kites yesterday. Mm -hmm. A lot of sunscreen, a lot of ball caps, a lot of hats because the sun was really out. So will be less of that today. Yeah. So we need to talk about, if you have a suggestion for the show, what can folks do? We have Ask Steve. We can email Steve at asksteve mm. ask Steve at enid.org. Yeah, there's our cows. There they are. <coughs> you have a suggestion for a show and recipe? summer vacation or something like that, you can send it, so. And now we have Steve over here. We're gonna interview Philip Whitaker. Well, I'm just kind of moving around. Philip, good morning. Good, good morning. to see you. And I know yesterday you had a long day and the day before that was a long, was a long day. day. And uh, well, welcome to Good Morning Enid. And, Thank you. Uh, we're glad Thank that you're you. here. And I have the AKA Convention Enid, Oklahoma. I tell you what, I'd call it the Bible, but I, I won't say that, but it's got a lot of good information and a lot of guidance for, for this week's activity. You're yes. the field director. Yes, Everybody from around the globe is here flying a kite this week because of the convention. Uh, what does a field director do? Field director... Besides running circles like I saw running yesterday. circles yesterday. That's right. Field director uh, comes in early, makes sure that the fields are set, they're uh, roped off, measured off correctly. Uh, this is a competition uh, for our members, so we do have regulations that must be met. A big shout out to the City of Enid for uh, Parks and Recreation for coming out, measuring those fields, lining those fields, putting in stakes, that kind of thing. I also um, meet all of the all of the inbound equipment that's coming in, the tents, the putter potties, the um, sound systems, all of that. The, that's part of the field director's job. Then once the convention starts, the field director basically just manages the, the process of 
well, the wind's not blowing good on field two, so we can move that I competition see. to field one, and, and that's not going to take up much space, so we'll move somebody from some other direction. So are you in charge of the tie-dye shirts? Because, you know, I'm, I'm a product of the late 60s, of the 60s you know, yes. and early 70s, so I was kind of looking for my tie-dye shirt, mm -hmm. so. Not in charge of them, but I can direct <laughs> you to the right place to get them. Okay, because I was kind of looking for mine. That, that's a subliminal hit, hint there, by the way. Okay. <laughs> you know, in Enid, we're familiar to go down Highway 81 or Van Buren and to go over south of Autry Tech. We know where to go, but there's a lot of people that will visit us on today, Thursday, and also Friday, and especially Saturday, right. that is, you know, really outside of the state and outside the community. So what's the best way or the best directions for parking and just to get to the kite and areas? The festival. Festival. Come, uh, turn, if you're coming from the south, turn left on Mulberry, which is the Burger King. So you're on yeah. Van Buren or 81 to begin with, right. which runs north and south in right. it. Okay. Turn on Mulberry, come through the, the welcome signs that's uh, pointing you in the right direction. Once you pass the orange cones and the road close sign, then take an immediate right into the public parking. You can drive on that field all the way over as close as you can get and uh, step out of your car, come across the street, and you're right on the fields. Well, Philip, I understand. I met, I met yesterday some individuals from Virginia and also uh, France. I mean, this is a global event. This isn't just a down the street type of event. This That's convention right. is, is really global. And I understand that uh, the AKA has an event on the East Coast and then the West Coast, they alternate around. But how does Enid, Oklahoma get involved in this? Enid is, uh, the, has become the Midwest location for our, our convention. Um, a city or a group of people can bid for uh, hosting the convention and it's uh, decided upon uh, by uh, where it's located. Um, Enid wanted us to come back. We were here th three years ago and they placed a bid and brought us back one more time. That's very impressive. Well, yesterday you kind of shared with me just briefly the story about the Enid kite and, and I had the privilege to take a few pictures with my phone and we placed it out <laughs> on Facebook. So, so if it looks questionable, it's, it's my phone. It's not my photography abilities whatsoever. Right. Just the fact that I'm doing this, trying to catch the, the kite. But this was way up in the air yesterday. But tell us the story. Uh, uh, AKA member, right? right. Uh, AKA member. Built it and so I'll let you tell the story. It's an AKA member. His name is Phil Broder. Um, thanks, Phil. <coughs> thanks, Phil. We, uh, <laughs> I contacted him asking what it would take, what it would cost for me to have him make a kite or a banner or something that says Enid. Yeah. And uh, he emailed back immediately and said, uh, gave me a whole list of reasons why he could do that for me. And all he asked was that we have an officer on the field on Saturday to do speed kiting. We're going to uh, gun them with the radar gun to see how fast they're running wow. with a kite attached to them. So Phil emailed me a photograph and said, what about this? It's become standard. Um, told me I had to be flying it or it would just become wall art. So it goes out every day and, and welcomes everyone to the flying field. <clears throat> Yesterday I was out at the flying field just for really an hour or so just to see all the different variety of the kites and again to me a kite is a kite but that I'm just very novel to me that's a kite but Philip there were these box kites there was these circular I mean there were all types of designs what are some of the so-called official names of these kites I mean it was just very impressive yesterday during mass ascension at one o'clock we were flying cellular kites that is anything that's three-dimensional that has um, spars, has sticks, has uh, things to spread them out to make them a three-dimensional type kite. Uh, we also have delta kites, which we'll be using for mass ascension on, on Saturday. This afternoon when you come out at one o'clock, you will see the inflatables or the blow-up type kites, the ones that have no structure to them other than the material, and the wind then creates the structure of the kite. Well, it's very impressive to see all the, the bright colors and all the different uh, types of kites that are up in the air. This one kite that was located south had several kites and it just went way up in the atmosphere. What do you call that particular kite? That is called the train. The train, okay. There were 75 kites attached wow. to the same Very string. Very impressive, folks. 
And uh, uh, that was what a lot of folks were seeing as they were coming over the overpass, over the railroad overpass, and they would make that left-hand turn and come in to find out more about that kite. Besides the kites that are, um, that you'll see out at the, the flying field south of Autry Tech, you will also know that in this book and in and, and different uh, uh, social venues, you'll notice there's a lot of events at Convention Hall. Kites inside a building, Yes. And then there's this a great kite auction on Friday night. Tell us about that event. The great kite auction is our way of, of uh, fundraising for the American Kite Flyers Association. The, uh, our members who make kites, like Phil Broder, uh, manufacturers, wholesalers, store owners, uh, contribute kites and kite accessories to the Great Kite Auction. For those of us who want to take home a, a prize possession or a, a piece of artwork, something like that, uh, we have the right, we have the chance to, to auction on it. We have some fantastic auctioneers on the floor auctioning these items and, and working the crowd and getting the, the biggest bid they can get. So the thing is to bring cash, old coins, and a big checkbook, right? That's correct. To help, to and help the we cause. do take Visa and MasterCard as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make it. Uh, what are some sites, as, as they're watching the show today, yeah. or maybe they'll see it later on to YouTube, tell us how you can get involved in AKA, some of their websites or Facebooks. What are some of those locations? Kite. ORG is our official website for the American Kite Players Association. On that website, there's a, a Kites and Kiters magazine. And it's a digital publication, free to download. Um, the current publication is a trip that our president, John Luter, took to Dieppe, France. And it's all recorded on, on there okay. and interviews and that kind of thing. You can also log on to Facebook, um, like, the AKA or American Kite Flyers Association. Um, a big shout out also is you can um, like a page called Kites Over Enid and uh, get more information about the local kiting uh, community here in Enid. Very good. And so one of the main sites was kite, K I T E dot org, right? Dot org. And then it just goes on from there. Right. Well, if you're busy during the week and we can't attend anything on today, Thursday, or Friday, but Saturday's our day to come to the event, what would you recommend families and friends and everybody to do on Saturday? What, what, what is a must for Saturday? A must on Saturday. The, the big picture for Saturday would be bring the kids out, children out about oh, 10, 10.30. We have lots of activities. Uh, I mentioned the, the officer doing the, the speed kiting. Uh, we have some, uh, hand the, the child a kite, let him fly it. Uh, we do have a, an on-field kite store where you can, can pick up some Christmas gifts or if uh, one of your children would like to, to okay. have a kite, you can get that. Then stay for the food truck. We have a food truck on site every day. And at one o'clock we will then have the Delta Mass Ascension where uh, you can see hundreds of, of derivatives so of Deltas. Impressive. That is so impressive. And I noticed yesterday there was a lot of hats, a lot of sunscreen, so if it's going to be a sunny day, it looks like, according to Kristen, the weather's going to be in the 60s, so it's going to be a gorgeous day. It'll be a gorgeous day. But uh, be prepared for that. I'm going to do something, Philip, that's a little awkward here on live TV, but I'm going to ask John Luter. He came all the way from Florida to be with us this morning. John, if you'd come up behind us, we'll try to get you, anyone who can come all the way to Florida to be on Good Morning Eat mm -hmm. and watch all the cables and everything. And we've got Cliff Quinn from, I think, Virginia, is that right? Uh, no, I'm from uh, Coopersburg, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay. So anyway, these two gentlemen uh, are part of the AKA convention. John is the uh, president. And Cliff, I understand, I know we don't have you mic'd, but uh, what I wanted to share with the audience this morning is that Cliff went to the Children's Hospital in Oklahoma City, and you can kind of right. tell us a little bit, little bit about that, but made kites for the kids at the Children's Hospital. That's right. He goes into the, to the um, intensive unit. Uh, everything has to be sterile going in, so that uh, he spends the day making kites with them. Uh, it's amazing to see their faces as they're creating those kites, coloring them, and uh, sure. taking them back to their rooms as, as their prize, their, their joy, to, to know that 
eventually they'll get out of the hospital yeah. and can go out and fly their kite. Well, the president of AKA is right behind me, John Luter. John, thank you for being here all the way from Florida. And Cliff, thank you for your work with uh, the kids at Children's Hospital and also in Enid. And Cliff does uh, kite workshops or kite making workshops. They're all part of the uh, group, so this is a little awkward way to get you on television, but I just want to say thank you for coming to Enid and uh, just thank you for the, the giving back part that you do. And uh, we certainly appreciate that. And Philip, thank you for being with us. I know you've been running in circles as a field director going here Sorry. and there. Um, is there anything we've got 10 seconds? Is there seconds. anything that we've missed? Come on out and fly a kite. Very good. Gentlemen, thank you for being with us on Good Morning Enid. Thank you for staying with us. Still holding steady at 56 degrees, a little rainy out today. And we have another department head video that we want to show you at this time. It is our assistant city manager, Joan Riley. Hello, my name is Joan Riley, and I serve as the assistant city manager for the city of Enid. I support the city manager whenever he is away from the office, and I also serve as the liaison regarding intergovernmental relations within the city. As the assistant city manager, I work alongside many city departments that include the airport, golf course, public transportation, the event center, information and technology department, and our public library. Furthermore, I oversee departments such as our Community Development Block Grant Program. Finally, if I can be of assistance to you, please call me at the number listed on our website. Thank you. Okay. Boy, in the magic of television, I'm back, Kristen. <laughs> so, did you enjoy that visit? That was just really quick, but man, Philip was a worth wealth of information. It, it makes me want to fly a kite. Yeah, well, you have that opportunity. I do. Because yesterday I saw this little girl with mom and dad, and there's a section out there just kind of family flying a kite. You're kind of away from all the organized stuff, but it was just a great family time for them to be out there to do that. So you have that opportunity as well. Oh, well, we appreciate the opportunity to introduce to you Joan Riley there and a little bit of what she's involved in. Let's go back to uh, Derek Silas with the, the news with the Oklahoma Minute. Good morning, Enid. Governor Fallon issues a last minute stay of Richard Glossop execution for 37 days because of an unauthorized drug for execution. Thunder star Kevin Durant will unveil a new basketball court at North Highland Elementary on Monday. The Tulsa State Fair begins today and goes through October the 11th. You can go to TulsaStateFair.com for more information. And Saturday, Oklahoma State will play Kansas State at Stillwater at 3 p.m. and OU will play Western Virginia and Norman at 11 a.m. This will be the annual Strike the Stadium game where fans in odd number sections wear white and fans in even numbered section wear crimson. And that's the Oklahoma Minute. Back to you, Stephen Kristen. We're not offending any West Virginia fans, but Boomer Sooner, <laughs> you know, hope, hope we win. <laughs> Holding steady at 57 degrees. Our winds are out of the east, northeast at 10, and it's gonna be a fall day today at 7.52. So, and the three-day forecast, for those of you planning to go to the kite festival, and football games and bonfires and everything else that Kristen mentioned. What's it look like? It's going to be a beautiful weekend. It's going to be great for all those activities. It's going to be in the lower 70s, just sunny and beautiful. We need to get out and enjoy, fly a kite, go to the football games, enjoy the weekend. I'm telling you folks, I saw some kites yesterday that were like the size of a pickup truck. How they got those things in the air and they were spinning, they were, it was just very impressive. You, it's not just a kite. I mean, it is a kite. You really ought to go and check this out. So we welcome people to do that. Uh, we, have, we have this opportunity that if you have a student in grades one through 12, and if they play the piano, a musical instrument, recite uh, some type of topic or anything, we'd like to place them on television. And so we want you to show your hometown talent. So if you have a young person, grades one through 12, Call us here at the ETN studio at 540-8918. We want your son, daughter, grandson, granddaughter, family member on ETN. We'll place them on channel 11. Do you sing? Um, only with the radio. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're a karaoke kind of person. I love karaoke. Do you play the piano? I don't. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> anyway, grades one through 12, we want to place you on TV. Well, we've got to find out what's going on this weekend, and I think I was in such a hurry earlier.
Did I fail to mention what's going on? No. So we'll have Derek Silas back to tell us what's happening. Good morning, Enid. There's a lot going on, and I'm glad that the weather's be going to be good this weekend. First, we have the 15th anniversary of the Pow Wow Celebration. The subject this year is Telling Your Own Story. It kicks off at 10 a.m. and ends around 8 p.m. with events all day, including crafts and the youth art contest, dancing, and education of the Indian culture. And then we have First Friday in Oktoberfest. The event is from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. with live music, food, you can do shopping downtown. It's a free event and open to the public. We also have the Girl Power Rally 2015, which will be a one-day workshop designed to empower girls in grades four through seven with knowledge of self-confidence and how to stand against peer pressure. And that will be held at Autry Technology Center. For more information, you can contact 580-234-7581. And we have the Enid Antique Power Gas Engine and Tractor Show. That's a long event. This event will be held October 3rd at the Garfield County Fairgrounds at 312 East Oxford. There will be a display of antique tractors and gas engines and also early day cars and trucks. I think that is be pretty good. And that's what's going on. Man, I think Derek's out of breath. I think so. That was a lot of events going that's on. That's a lot of events, but that's just a typical weekend. Good morning, Enid. This Thursday, October 1st, hole and study at 57 degrees. We appreciate you joining us. Hope you're having a good cup of coffee, as I am. It's 756, and we want to encourage you about adopting a pet here at the Animal Control uh, Facility here in Enid. There's a lot of pets that uh, need a home. And so watch this promo, and uh, maybe you can help out. Are you wanting to bring home a new family member? But you don't know where to look? There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Come by the Enid Animal Shelter or visit our Facebook page. Adopt. Thank you, AJ, and thank you for joining us this morning on Good Morning Enid on this Thursday. Hi, today's going to be around 71, perfect weather for perfect flying weather. a kite. That's right. And uh, you may have to speak up a little more. I don't know, you've got a strong voice, Philip. I, saw, <laughs> I heard you out there yesterday barking orders as a field, <laughs> as a field director. You're telling everybody kind of what to do. It is a great event, the AKA convention, Come Fly a Kite, and uh, we encourage you to come out. So Kristen, you going to fly a kite? I am. I would love to go fly a kite. I'm going to have to come, come out, out this weekend. Yes. So, If you're planning uh, your wardrobe for today, right now it's 57, high is going to be around 71. And again, the weatherman says there's a 40% chance of uh, rain today. So, And even if it's raining, we'll be flying. As long as there's no lightning? No lightning. It's, it's, okay. That's right. We want to thank our special friends that came from Pennsylvania and Florida that joined us this morning. That's right. And you came a long ways from Enid to All Enid. All the way across town. All the way across <laughs> town. Kristen, thank you for joining us. We've got five seconds to say goodbye, so what do you want to say? I want everyone to have a great day. Okay. It's a Monday. It's beautiful. It's a Monday? Uh, no, it's yeah, not it's a Monday. Thursday. It's a Thursday. Say, do we have to do this week over? <laughs> we don't want to we do We've got to go. Yeah. Make it a great Thursday. Good morning, Enid.